There's nothing that happens by chance in the universe. When you get rich, it won't have happened by accident. You may think something happened randomly, but it didn't. This is because of the law of causation, better known as cause and effect. You already know how this works, but I'm gonna show you another side of this universal truth that you haven't seen before. I'm gonna teach you the elements of causation that I teach my clients to have them have $4,000 sales and $10,000 raises. After working with tons of entrepreneurs, I've seen the one major mistake they make when it comes to using this law and it keeps them stuck. All you need is a few mental reframes and you'll be able to use causation to make more money. The richest people don't speak about these things, even though they practice them. So it's no wonder people move through life frustrated and lost trying to get ahead. But once you use what I'll teach you in this video, you'll finally open up the path to more money all without spending thousands of hours meditating, reading affirmations, or getting lucky. So get comfortable and let's get into it. There's three things you need to understand before you can really utilize causation to import more money into your life. Firstly, always remember that chance is simply a misunderstanding of cause and effect. Every cause has an effect and every effect has a cause. If you roll a pair of dice, you may think it's random, but it's not. The weight of the dice, what number were facing up when they were in your hand, how quickly or slowly you rolled the dice in your hands, the speed at which you let go of them, the surface of the table the dice hit, the exact spot of the table the dice hit, the list can go on and on and on. You know, did you get a pretty girl to blow on the dice and give you some luck? The list can go on and on of the causes that created the effect of you rolling a seven with two dice. And now that you roll the seven, the effect may be that you won the game and that effect caused you to get money. And then that money bought you a hamburger. And now that you bought the hamburger, you're satisfied that you just ate it because you were hungry. And now you're satisfied. You write a tweet on your phone that gets retweeted by some famous person. Now you got 10,000 new followers. And once again, the list goes on and on and on and on that 10,000 new followers might get you 10 new customers and now you got more money and now you got more money and your life changes and causes just keep going on all the way to the point where the original cause is completely unrecognizable on a long enough time horizon let me say one more time nothing happens by chance in order for chance to exist it needs to exist outside the laws of the universe and if it exists outside the laws of the universe then it exists outside of god or the all and nothing exists outside of god so you importing more money into your life is not a matter of luck but here's the catch it's completely fine for you to believe that you are lucky it will actually benefit you it's better for you to believe that the causes you create in life are in your benefit everything you do. Luck is simply cause and effect that you didn't see. So it's fine to believe that the causes you didn't see or you didn't account for are in your benefit. And to quote the Islamic poet Rumi, live life as if everything is rigged in your favor. That's what my wife and I do. That's exactly why I tell you that everything that I'm involved in succeeds. And she's right and she's involved with me, which means I succeed. And she believes that everything she's involved in succeeds and I'm involved with her, so we succeed. And we believe it, and therefore it happens. Always. Always. So when you believe everything is rigged in your favor, then it is. Just watch my video, You Need to Lie to Get Rich to understand how belief really works. Now, the second thing you need to understand is that life is made up of events and the events all cause other events to occur. For instance, I sometimes watch this YouTube channel called Rotten Mango, and they do these storytelling analysis of some unspeakable crazy crimes. Why am I into that? Why does he have a, us watch it before we're about to go to bed? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I like to see both sides of the world, the good and the bad. But anyways, on Rotten Mango, the host who's female, sometimes her husband who's off camera converses with her about the crime story and he asks questions and he kind of acts like the audience. And then months after discovering Rotten Mango, I saw a podcast that said YouTube videos perform better when there's more than one person involved. So when people are talking or there's multiple characters involved, and this is one of the reasons why podcasts are doing so well because it's multiple people. Then months later, I thought to myself, hmm, what if I have my wife off camera like Rotten Mango? That'll give me two characters in my videos and maybe they'll perform better. Two videos later, we had a viral video and 1,500 new subscribers in about a week and everything you're involved in succeeds. Exactly. 
belief. So if everything is all connected, does that mean based on the things I've done in my past, my fate is sealed? Do you have fate? Do you have free will? Does free will even matter? Now, the third thing you need to understand is the concept of free will. Are you bound to some sort of fate because of cause and effect? Well, the answer is yes and no. The hermetic teachings say that all truths are half the truths. So let me give you an example. Let's say you cheat on your spouse. That decision leads them to divorce you. That would be fated. That's out of your control. You made a free will decision. Somebody else made a decision to leave you. You can't control them. Or something else could happen. The negative effects caused from your infidelity could make you change your ways and you choose to be a different person and in turn keep your relationship together. So in this case of infidelity, the cause could have two effects, but your free will was at play for both circumstances. One free will action was choosing to cheat in the first place. And the second is choosing to change your ways one outcome is out of your control which is the decision your spouse makes to leave and that's a form of predetermined outcome or fate based on your actions so would it be safe to say that because of polarity free will exists yes because polarity is choice yes exactly and if you haven't watched videos on polarity just go through this playlist there's a Kabbalion money playlist that talk about polarity. If you've been keeping up, I know you're making money and I know your life is progressing, so keep watching. So basically with free will and fate, it could go either way. You have a level of control over your reality. And I say a level because your control over your reality all depends on how aligned you are frequency wise. But I already made a video about that. And when it comes to free will, most people have less free will than they think, especially if they are polarized. Set. I'm psychic. Psychic. Everything you're involved in succeeds. Everything I'm involved in succeeds. Belief. So, for instance, if someone is a very far right wing Republican and someone is a very far left wing Democrat, they are so polarized that they can't see some of the good things that their opposition may stand for because universal law says there's no bad without good, even with your enemies. So the more polarized you are, the less free you actually are. And I showed you how to break free of this in my polarization and rhythm videos. So the closer you are to being centered in the mind and the centered state, the more free you actually are because you can see both sides and you can make a actual choice. If you're polarized, your emotions have already made the choice for you. So the body becomes the mind. What do you mean? Instead of the mind being the mind, the body becomes the mind because then you're letting your emotions run the show as opposed to your mental logic. And we all know, you know, masculine energy and manifest it. Anyways. Yeah, so basically basically you're saying that kind of the the primal lizard emotional brain takes over and your logical mind doesn't take over and then you lose control of your life essentially. Yeah. So now you understand the three elements of how causation works. The element of chance, the element of events and the element of free will. And how do you use this now to get more money? First, you need to remove a belief that most people in the world have. It's a belief that prevents things from manifesting in your life, all sorts of things, not just money. And it's two simple words when i when i get the rolls royce i'll feel happy when i get the bigger house i'll feel happy when i date that girl i'll feel happy you think that the material things will cause you to be happy or feel better or feel more fulfilled but the material world is an effect and an effect doesn't happen without a cause cause must come before effect you must be cause be cause because if you notice the word because is explaining the cause of why an event happens of why an effect happens i was hungry because i didn't eat yesterday effect is hunger cause is because i didn't eat yesterday so you must be cause you must be the cause for what you want to have happen in your life you must be before you have. To explain this, I'm going to quote Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, and I learned this from Myron Golden. The scripture says, God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. The first thing God tells man is to be 
then he tells him to do things. And when you do things, you have rule over things in the earth and you will have things that you desire. This is the order you need to use with cause and effect. You need to be, you need to do, and then you will have things. But most people, what they try and do is they try and have, they try to not do anything and then be. They think, oh, I'm going to get the Lamborghini without doing the things necessary to get the Lamborghini. And then I'll be the Lamborghini guy, or then I'll be happy. So basically you have to be before you can cause the event. Yes. Bars. Yes, indeed. You need to be before you can cause the event. And being begins in the mental plane. Who is the person who has what you desire? Who are you when you have what you're aiming for? You've got to become self-aware and self-awareness is a superpower. And what you need to be aware of is that you have the creative and manifestation power of God. You can be whatever you want to be. And when you be that person, you will automatically do what that person does to have riches or to have a fit body or to have a good relationship. If you are a rich person, which you are, what would the rich version of you do? And why aren't you doing it yet? Because we're filming and you don't need to behave and this is PG rated. Wow. You letting people too far into our life, man. <laughs> Remember this, I didn't say what you would have. I said what you would do. So go do it. In your mind, you must be the person who has what you desire. You must connect to those feelings and know that you already have what you desire because the person you want to be already has it and they already do the things necessary to have it. But let me tell you something. This technique is never going to work if you don't learn how to ascend your current polarized rhythm. So watch this video to learn how to do that. From me and wifey, Peace. Peace.